And once again, we uh, we are back to Europa Universalis 4 with the Warring States mod installed, of course. So, where did we left off last time? So, I believe we, uh, yeah, we dealt a severe blow to the French. We are now trying, or well, not trying to, but we are preparing for an invasion of Great Britain yet again. So, of course, we've already beaten them, but we're still, uh, you know still out to get some more territory out of it and actually getting the isles and let's see we still need to call essex which is uh, on its way i suppose and um the political map mode tells us that well we're basically allied to some of uh yeah so i think we used to have austria but because we have Okay, so the fact that we are neighboring a, a heretic religion is now kind of on us all. Kind of being annoyed about it. However, uh, we made a choice to enter the French uh, technology or not the, the French culture group. Because, well, quite frankly, for some reason, Burgundy uh, wanted our... Uh, oh, would accept vestalization, so it's a little bit uh, odd as a standpoint from, well, the Afri provinces. So this will take a, a shit ton of time. And furthermore, um, well, we are going to try to take France as well. I suppose Savoy is already friendly toward us and I... Okay, so it's one thing to really go into the Lombardian or not, uh, the, 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 you know, the cosmopolitan one because uh, it's quite large but to also go into the uh the lombard culture group which is you know also quite large it's it's a little bit too much i think so let's um let's think what we should do next so we are trying to improve relationship with castilla and we also the same for uverna so that's good and well i suppose we already have the casus belli don't we no we don't hmm. but for some reason we were still already standing here um and we have a regency council so there's nothing really to do for us but uh wait uh burgundy wants sure why not and Arnold wants a military access you know have added gentlemen you know not really see a problem. Okay, uh, in the light of many setbacks and hardships that have plagued our uh, canal project in Holstein. Oh, yeah, right, we're still trying to build the channel in uh, Holstein because, well, <laughs> prestige and we, has, we have the money. Uh, sure. Mm, don't want to throw an administrative uh, power into it. Uh, sure, maintain. Would you accept facilitation? Because I can imagine that is one of the reasons yes why we would uh, you know interact with that country in the first place hmm. but um, okay new governor sure if you are not really here uh, uh, with the whole channel building side um, I suppose it is either in the warm states mod or just from you know from the vanilla either one I suppose it is in the vanilla one um, but uh, yeah, at some point, let's see, you can build, you know, the Kiva Canal or the Suez or the Panama Canal. And of course, uh, the Kiel Canal is, I suppose, yeah, we are building the Kiel Canal right here in Holstein. Is the less significant one because, well, quite frankly, it will, instead of going around, you can go through. However, something like, oh gee, I don't know. Uh, it's. Um, Either the Suez or the Panama Canal. I'm not sure. I suppose the Panama Canal. But the Panama Canal, you know, canal, is uh, making sure you don't really have to go around a fucking continent. And same goes for the Suez Canal. I suppose the Suez Canal is right here. So, you know, it kind of saves you the trip. So, whoever built those canals, you know, really has the uh, upper hand. So, it's a very good mon monetizing system. However, this one is just meh. Okay, disastrous landslide. Oh well, for fuck's sake, we'll just wait some more time, won't you? 
And I have to get back at more a uh, certain subject as to where the fuck should I end this series? Because quite quite frankly, um, I've had one comment asking to continue the series. You know, keep it up, keep it going. However, in my eyes, it's kind of done already. I mean, sure, we could take Great Britain, we could take France, we could perhaps have an epic battle with Austria, and I don't know. At that point, I suppose the Ottomans or Mazovia is also very strong. However, at this uh, at this stage, well, this will cost me administrative power. That's not. At this stage, it's basically just maintain your power and increasing. Meh, it doesn't really help. I suppose. Um. I suppose it doesn't really help any any anything because the last battle with I suppose uh, Bukhani boundary dispute with whom against France well sure but um, yeah we learned that the French are still quite strong and that's annoying because well we had the numbers but they managed to kick our asses quite over and over and over um, let's see but uh, oh wow you're actually at war with Spain or I mean Castilla so yeah, the French are strong, but I've been saying this all the time. I suppose the French have a uh, battle. Uh... Oh, nice! We actually have a new king. Gracious! With whom do we have Castille and France? Interesting. However, uh, I suppose the French have a bonus to military because, of course, the French are, well, I suppose, in the mid Middle Ages, or you know the. Not the Middle Ages, but the 1800s, so they, they probably had a decent army, given how Napoleon really managed to get like a nice European Empire going. Um, but regardless of that, I also think it had to do with the fact that we went for the... Uh, let's see, where is it? The quality idea group instead of the, quam, the quantity idea group instead of the quality idea group, uh, giving us, um, well, uh, I suppose hidden... Uh, hidden powers is all, you know, it doesn't really say what it does, I think, that is the whole idea, so it doesn't really completely tell you what to do, because also the imp opinion is, uh, is, uh, different. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, we are almost done with Essex. How is the general opinion about this on the... Let's see, no one has any hard feelings on the aggressive expansion side. If so, well, fuck that. Um, sure, let's uh, can declare war against you. Of course you can't. I have still improved relationships with everyone. Let's see, you. You must have some neighboring heretic religion, really. Um, ask for membership offer. Okay, we could raise it by... At least... Okay, we'll have to give them like a loan. So, Castilla, would you please be so kind? Also, you. I need my... Uh, diplomatic claim of war. So... Oh, wow, Ella to Ravern. Okay, let's, uh, let's first get you a nice claim. Let's, uh, let's claim... Oxford. Oxfordshire, or Shire, sure, I suppose it's sure, Oxfordshire, okay, Oxfordshire, because we can't really get uh, London just yet, because it is their capital, however, we'll take the three provinces, and basically cutting off London, okay, you are fabricating a claim, then you will be the kindest person to grant military access, and ask for it, because, well, quite frankly, we don't really care, Okay, improvement in government technology, spare no expenses, because we do have, uh... Okay, are you winning France? That is the question. Attacker against Great Britain in the cosmopolitan Peruvian conquest of... Adequa... Uh, no. But, um... I was saying something. Okay, let's also ask for it. Lack of provisions, really. Uh, unforeseen problems have left a oh, the canal construction all seen 
in low on provisions, really. There's nothing we can do. Oh well, throw some more. Finish the bloody thing already. How long? 12th of February, 1814. Uh, okay. It's quite odd, don't you think, that uh, yeah, someone forgets to check the provisions of a fucking channel, you know? Not, not the provisions of the channel, of course, but no, the, the crew of the channel. Because building a channel is not something you do with like 10 people, it's more like a thousand or so, I imagine. Increased drunkenness, ah, oh, really? Sure, let's reduce the rations and just size up a reasonable army. 22, 8, 10, I suppose it, we can make him tick for 25, 5, I believe is the new stack that we're going with. Well, getting 20 is a little bit, mm, a little bit too much for clicking, but hey. We'll do, we'll do. Um, there we go. Okay, Uvena, if you be so kind, so revoke, no issue, send the gift. So we now have 135, let's give subsidies for the next coming. Let's make you a little bit too rich. Is he coming? Oh, yes, we can. Okay, send gift. So we don't only have to wait 125 ducats, I suppose. And then also give subsidies in 3, 2, 1, there we are. Uh, make it uh, make it big. Oh, that's a little bit too big. Uh, yes, 12.68. You should love me for it already. There we go. Uh, let's ignore that one. Mm, I suppose if you raise uh, the revolt risk by 10, that people are starting to wonder what the fuck you're doing. You know, revolt, revolt risk wise. So let's just. Uh, Serbia. A call of arms by Serbia. In the faith. Oh, right, of course. We are the protector of the fucking faith. Serbia. Good God. You are fighting the Ottomans as well as the Crimeans. Well, Serbia, if, if we decline, we lose the title defender of the faith. Ha. Huh. Um, sure, a fucking holy war will look fine. However, how's the war going for you? Uh... I mean, it is this, the Ottoman Empire. Mm, well, I suppose if we lose, then that is the end of the series. How many men against how many men? Okay, wow, we're actually not even behind. Uh, all right, gentlemen, ship shape. Let's get this show on the road. You please come with me. We'll, uh, you know, make, uh, okay. This is not the time to die. Uh, royal marriage. There we go. Uferna. Okay. In due time, you will become mine. And sure, they like the marriage. Of course, they do. And uh, solve prices. That's all. You know, still merge on. <coughs> Whole steam because we increase the revolt risk because well, increased drunkenness is not a good thing. And let's mass our units. Uh, let's just put them right here. I suppose that is no harm in doing so. You move here. And we now have a trade dispute. For fuck's sake. It's not like we are a trading country, are we? Yes, we are. Fuck's sake. Okay, how many more leaders can we afford? Four, uh, four out of four. Not the best, but sure as hell not the worst. Okay, let's see. You can go to Graz, I suppose. And then you can go to Essex. And I suppose, you know, Great Britain is kind of going like, Phew! Isn't that just a fucking relief for me? So. How to cross men over the channel, you know? A very simple guide. And then the cannons can also go here. And then we are good to go. 
So four armies should be able to, well, let's see, four armies do match their number somewhat. Not completely. And we've lost to a 36 deck and a navy is fighting about. Well, quite frankly, I believe we have the strongest navy. As in, I have by myself 96 heavy ships. A little bit overkill, of course, but uh, overkill tends to do the, f do, do the job. I, I, I believe so. Um, okay. And this is the trade map. Okay, so let's just go back to diplomatic. Now, um, of course, we've been spending a shit on the money. Advisor cost is still raging high. Excellent. Well, now you are going to dominate the seas. So, first, you know, get your ass going right over there. You are not too, too fond about sending gifts, receiving subsidies. Okay, you are quite fond about it. Okay, um... Okay, rations of alcohol, sounds like a good idea. Lose a shit ton of money and it will be done earlier. Sure, let's, let's pump some money into it. Mm, you also move in there, would you? Did we not make... Oh, of course, plus 25.5 is 30. That's a 30 stack, so like... Let's see, 10 more... Infantryman should suffice, I believe so. So should you, of course. And uh, that's even too many. Wow. Um, and there we are. If we really felt the need to, we could raise another uh, 60 men. I suppose that could work. Okay, so the. The nation Serbia does not have the province of Serbia. Interesting. Uh, or, well, I suppose, not per se interesting, but peculiar. But would uh, Bulgaria be interested, interested in... Yes, you would. Even better. Well, gentlemen, we now have the permission to go in. So let's move our forces even closer. I mean, I'm not really sure how, we'll, uh, how the Ottomans will receive us. Hopefully uh, very kind. If not, then well, we need to be cautious. Let's see. This army can merge for simplicity, so we can actually see what's happening. Um, so you are still on the move. Okay. Well, there we go. The navy is almost there. It is an enemy fleet, so... Okay. They are <laughs> interested in the fight. Good enough for me. Let's see, we did lose, I suppose, a couple of ships. Or just gained one. Uh, let's see. Oh, we even gained one. 42 transport ships instead of 41. Hmm. And a trade dispute against... Oh no, not a trade dispute, but just a normal cost of the ally. Um... There we go, Serbia is interested in the fight already. Let's see. Um. Oh. Okay. How is the terrain? Looking good. Okay, let's make it a mass slaughter, if please. Okay, well, that helped in the war. So let's now push through it, of course. I mean, I'm not really sure what the whole object is. Take Raska, and I suppose Raska is this little province. So you could you be going to kick this arm's ass and make sure they do not get Raska. Excellent. And who is leader? Austria's leader because well, Austria. The and you are now free to take Sofia. Sure. Now you are getting repaired. I hope. Right, are you getting... Yes, you are getting your repairs. Excellent. Okay. Well, I suppose we are managing quite well. Still at 36 stacks somewhere is rampaging. Another war has been won. Or battle, I should say. Who's leading the charge here? We are. Excellent. Okay, poor planning. Sure. Why not? <laughs> I 
And uh, okay, you 